It's Brayfin plus Shadow Assassin. That's pretty sweet, being able to play both of them. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Sin. This is Twisted Fate and Lee Sin together. This is going to be a good control deck, very similar to the Victor Lee Sin that we played yesterday, if you checked out that deck. But we're going to have um, Twisted Fate and some Bilge Water cards instead of the Pilt Over and Zon. But as you can see, mostly all the same Ionia cards. Uh, I, I like a lot of these Ionia cards together. Um, like I said, I really like Retreat, Return, Sonic Wave to go along with Eye the Dragon and Lee Sin, get the extra spells and the ways to cast two spells in a round. Uh, but then Bilgewater, we're going to have Twisted Fate, basically because I think Twisted Fate and Make It Rain are both very well positioned right now with everybody playing a lot of small units. And so I think those two cards could be pretty well positioned. Then we, you get Sprayfin to draw cards. So you have you know, Sprayfin plus Shadow Assassin, so you got like good amount of like elusives that are drawing cards that can get a bunch of elusive damage in. We're gonna have Monster Harpoon, then you know if we can turn on uh, Plunder from either like Twisted Fate Red Card or Parlay or Make It Rain, should be pretty good. We're gonna have Higher Gun will be our other two drops. Um, that should be a good one to like retreat, return, and everything like that, and and uh, give things vulnerable so your draglings can challenge them. Should work well with the draglings or with like Quick Attack, Twisted Fate, that kind of stuff. So let's give it a try. Let's play some Twisted Fate Lee Sin. This should probably be playing some long games. It's gonna be a slower control deck. Let's go have some fun. Lee Sin's Fate. Demacia Targon. Where are like the small units that, <laughs> that we want to kill? What are these really big things with Demacia Targon? Dragons. We don't wanna play against dragons. That's a good card against Zoe. That's a good card against Shivana. We were forged in dragon fire. coins and carnage. They probably just have these trade. No. So I guess Shivana. Hmm. I guess if they do have Shivana, a monster harpoon doesn't even kill it, does it? Because it's a three four, but then it gets the four five, and then it attacks as a five six. Wow, that's gross. Like a block to kill it. Oh, passing. All right, I'll take the pass. I'll take a pass. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of a pass. Because, you know, I was considering doing Sonic Wave plus plus two plus zero, make five five challenger with barrier, but they use a fight spell that can get out of hand. That Dragon Chow just messes up all the math for everything. That extra plus one plus one. We got a hush out of their hand. That's good. Looks like we got a fight spell out of their hand as well. Yeah. So 
probably isn't going to end too well for me. I'm really not designed to beat dragons. Who, who's playing dragons these days? Never lost a fair game. I could, of course, parlay them and then and monster harpoon to take down screeching dragon. Okay. Only had two spells because their retreat return didn't work. So if they would have used sharp sight, then I would have had you know that would have retreat returned. Wanting to play deep meditation this round. All right, so down to three cards. Just down to two cards. cost six mana. So I guess they're not too worried about me leveling up this Twisted Fate. I mean, I could try to make a rain. Maybe I should be doing that. It's not very likely to hit. So that's six. Brayfin will be seven. The thing about playing Sprayfin is then I don't have protection for Twisted Fate. I should have played that before. Shouldn't have gave them just the free super cool star chart. Even if it is super cool. Alright, so now Lee Sin's leveled up as well. Alright, so they have three invoke cards in hand. Two from Star Shaping, one from Super Cool Star Chart. And I think that's the three cards on the left. Now, one mana, they're not killing Twisted Fate. This is free. Find a way to draw one card. Play my part. They're passing, that's a way to draw one card. So if they go really in soul next round, it's gonna be that big of a problem. This only gives me seven mana. No, we gotta we gotta just take the pass. Like I'm on a hot street. The board music. I kinda always have it set where it is. As far as volume goes. You want it up just a little bit? I don't want to put it up too much, because it, it can make editing a lot more difficult editing the video if the board music's too loud. I'll put it up just a little bit. Glad to see no hush. So 
got a Rillian Soul or no? Looks like that's a no. So they have four invoke cards over there. Two, three or less. Two, seven or more. Who's on top of the bounty board today? I'm a people person. I'm just keeping plenty of mana available. So I play Lee Sin, I still got eight. Yeah. The dragon spirit awakens. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Eyes open. Do waste a mana of not having the blue card spell mana available. I'm always keeping Deny up for the 9 mana double obliterate. Which could be that card right there. Okay, double stun. Should have attacked and done that during combat, right? Like, and, and so I'd be attacking right now. Yeah, you know, they can't really play blocker. Actually, no, this actually works out just fine. The blocker gets stunned from gold card. I can't sharp sight because I'm just going to challenge that. Keeping up deny for a fight spell. Or we could play Will of Ionia. Alright, that should do it. All right, one and O oh. got the dragons. Ionia endures. Seems. So Ronka, Tom Kench, man, the Targon. The Targon. Okay, so another Hush deck. Yeah, we're not really well positioned for this matchup, are we? So Ronka, Tom Kench. I can't get rid of a, a landmark. I'm not playing Homecoming. So if they play Star Spring, yeah, I am not positioned for this matchup at all. I think we're about to be one and one. <laughs> yeah, VTR says, don't you love when you make deck based on the meta, you promptly queue into non-meta deck. Yeah. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Not my fist. Possible I should be keeping up Sonic Wave. I don't really know why, though. I think I could use like Sonic Wave to try to kill the Star Shepherd. If I kill you, I don't fart you! Night falls. I am prepared. There is assistant. Twisted Fate Red Card. If I rely on red card and they feel in response, probably. I'm glad we've seen no Star Spring so far. We look after our own. 
something for all. They, of course, are playing a lot of Hush. Something scrumptious. Thomas into his bag of tricks again. Mm, I need to play Mega Rain also right away because to get rid of the healing. Yeah, because of Astral Protection, I'm probably going to play Mega Rain also immediately. But I suppose I can pass, see if they let me go to the next round. That makes you the guts. All right, that'll let me kill the Tom Kench. They will not be able to save Tom Kench from that. Draggling. William, not bad. The All right, we got them down to four. Everyone here, let's go. Just delays them around. I don't love this. That's not worth it. Yeah, so that, that reset the Twist of Fate's level up. The Tom Kench eating the Twist of Fate, but the Twist of Fate was only at like 2 out of 9. Deep Meditation is a good draw tomorrow. They found Star Spring. Brought back Protector Heal in their Nexus a bunch. Oh, double brought back Protector. We so did. We need Deep Meditation on top. Oh, that's not good. Alright, Deep Meditation. No, no challenge. Challenge? Deep Meditation. I'll protect you. Hmm. One of the worst possible draws. I will play my part. Center your spirit. Prepare yourself. Because as far as the other units go, at least like Shadow Assassin, Sprayfin draw cards. It was kind kind of only I have the Dragon, Hired Gun, Tasty Faithful. Those are kind of only the the only bad draws in the deck, and that was one of them. Hello. 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 I have to save this course to try to kill Tom Kench instead of the Broadback Protector. Unfortunately. Stand back. I'll protect you. Oh the yes, God. the extension enhance enhanced DC uh, means that because you can you can move your cursor over the stream over the stream and you can read the cards and stuff like that if you're you know while you're watching here on Twitch. If you're on PC you can you can cursor over you know like the different cards and see what they are. By Starlight. 
Well, Mega Rain's not a great draw either. Well, I was complaining about what cards are bad draws. I guess Mega Rain's right up there. The dragon binds us. Plans for the weekend, we'll be doing the same, you know, same thing streaming. I'm, I'm planning tomorrow to kind of have like a, a day like where I play some of the decks that we have done better with recently tomorrow. So I'm planning on replaying Vladimir Braum, Gangplank's Fate, Jarvan Shen, um, maybe Soraka Braum. Those kind of decks tomorrow. Three horrendous draws in a row. Horrendous draws. My lands need center your spirit. This should be over. That's the best card we've drawn in a while. Oh. Them being able to do that, that just hits the star spring. So yeah, bad matchup. We almost got there. But yeah, I really hope we never face that one again. Because they didn't have a very good hand either. There we go. This is the kind of deck that I was thinking whenever we were playing, you know, like Eye the Dragon with all the lifesteal stuff and then Make It Rain and Twist of Fate. This is the kind of matchup I was envisioning us facing. I'll send Retreat Return back, I guess, but Retreat Return can do some work. Very possible I need to be more patient. Let Mega Rain kill that. You'll soon understand my methods. Very possible. Oh, it still works out. So they're going to have something else that has that plus one plus zero. Probably like a Zed. I think it's Zed, because Zed would be the best possible, so that's what I was thinking Zed. These things are all drawing cards, so we can block a Zed just fine. You cannot escape. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. So make them use a resource. So the resonating strike slash twin disciplines. So they need a barrier, but hopefully they don't have one. Well, that was just kind of a waste. Unless they have something else also. So good twin disciplines, top deck. That's kind of all their resources. It's kind of everything. Kinda everything. Like <laughs> Alright, Parley's not bad. Silent as death. Sprayfin plus Shadow Assassin, that's pretty sweet. Being able to play both of them. You're covered. Gotta 
Go with the flow. So six out of nine. There's no reason. We're getting million cards now, so that's seven, eight. Retreat return could be nine. Come on, Rip. Yeah, I guess I probably could have just pick a card. Why are you here? No real reason to do the whole pick a card thing. Is the cl classic Ash Frost deck still valid? It's a kind of a tough metagame for the Ash Frost deck because Ash usually really good against like your other mid range decks, but it can it can struggle against the super fast decks, and that's what's around right now. There's a lot of super fast decks. That was a big convincing win right there. Aurelia and Azir. Alright, retreat return gone. I should probably just mulligan Lisa in. Yeah, I was gonna keep Lisa in, but actually I should just I should just mulligan it. Let's just send it back. Maybe I should keep retreat return. Let's see retreat return doing work. Love parlay. Good against both student and duo. Hmm. It's bad. As y'all know, I have no landmark removal. This is pretty bad. What do you call that technique? I don't imagine this is gonna work. I don't really like any other option though. Next time. Huh. It worked. I didn't imagine that. Everything's better with company. Says you. Like a fish in water. <laughs> mm-hmm. We play for the people and sing for the land. That few musicians, yeah, it's it's pretty threatening. Awesome. I can learn from watching you. All right, well, I don't get to make it rain that, but we got D meditations every available play, now. Every beat in its place. They did a very good job setting this all up. Why are you here? Why Should have been patient on the Mega Rain.
Well, they can't go any wider. You said kill a unit, but like then this keeps them from Master yourself. Master your playing other stuff. But I guess I'm going to try to kill Aurelia right here anyway. Set, yeah, so they killed that unit themselves anyway. Yo, before this Ribbon Dancer, I was pretty confident in us winning, but once now they get the Blade Surge. Now I guess it's over. So three challenge switch. I will not hold back. Patience is underrated. Agree. They're killing their Aurelia. At least, well, we don't know what their last card is. It seems as if they're killing the Aurelia. The thing is, okay, so I, I kind of need all these Twin Disciplines next round for like Twin Disciplines plus Spirits Refuge for like a large Nexus healing event. Which makes me want to play Sonic Wave, but Sonic Wave is only plus two power, so if they have twin like if they have twin disciplines, they would have just killed me anyway, so. Our enemies cannot hide. It wasn't worth I was thinking about playing the Spirit's Refuge before, you know, like I could have healed three and then healed three again with the challenge, but then that would kill my Oh no, it wouldn't have killed Lee Sin. Lee Sin would still be at one health. Oh, I should have done that, because then I could have healed six, but we may be healing six. And back to Lulu Z for game number five. So I'm not exactly sure what you know. I have to go back and, and you know rewatch and everything, but I it just feels like I maybe had the cards to win that last game against Aurelia here. I would have played different. drawn the best. There we go. Without a sound. Good. Just doing this right now to make it so we can get another mana with Sprite Fin. Okay. Twin Disciplines out of hand. Man, 
over there. I don't I don't think we have this one. I think they got this. Especially like if they have a rally. Good hand, mine was a little awkward. I I should have mulliganed more. I think we they they're gonna get this one and it looks like we're gonna be with a two and three and then we'd end up four one two three four one two three on the day. At least that'd be pretty synergistic. Especially if they have rally cards, but maybe don't. Maybe they don't. Pass. Pass the round, please. Please pass. Cool. Pleasure to see you, Master. Get him, hit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let this happen and hope I hope hope this Mega Rain resolves, I guess. To bust up both barriers. I think that's my best chance. This would be great if this resolves and busts up the barriers. I I'm surprised they didn't play that last round. Unless like I didn't pay attention if they unless they just drew that. Um, really surprised they didn't play that last round. The you know the barrier rally. GG's. Two and three. In the end, the Good hand with the champions. I should have done more mulliganing, look for my champion, like look for Twisted Fate and stuff. Like I kept like that twin disciplines. I just should have sent that back. I should, I needed to do more mulliganing. Okay, so I was pretty impressed with how this deck looked. I know we just went two and three in short sample. Uh, but you know, some of that's pilot error as well. Like I should have mulligan some more there that last game. But I really liked how um, like Twisted Fate was. Like Twisted Fate plus Make It Rain, those two cards were awesome. Um, Shadow Assassin with Sprayfin was awesome. I need to, you know, do a good job maximizing those even more. Um, yeah. Tasty Fate Folk never really did anything with, and maybe you just don't need, you know, because of how these aggro decks are, blocking just isn't a desired, like, it's not, it's not really desired, right? So, like, maybe... Maybe we just kind of need some more spells or cards that challenge, like Boxtopus. Um, you know, like there's there's some other options we could play. Like Higher Gun was fairly good, but uh, yeah, I liked I liked how this deck felt. I did. I know again. I know one, two, three, but I liked how it felt. Um, it could still be tuned a little bit around the edges. Uh, that's that's probably the number one card, the Fae Folk. Um, look into that one. Maybe another deny. Kind of the same with like Spirits Refuge. Didn't really look that great. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, you got ideas? Let me know. Um, you know, because we we did struggle against the landmarks. Really, like the one the one game against Tom Kench, Soraka. I'm not expecting to play against that deck very much. But we so I'm kind of throwing that one out the window. So we're like two and two against the other decks. We did lose to the Aurelia Azir. With a really going crazy and the Lulu Zed, with the Lulu and Zed both going crazy and, and me not answering either one. That second game, I really need to mulligan more. We did play against Lulu Zed earlier also, where we just demolished them, and I had Make It Rains and Twisted Fates and stuff, and, and that made a big difference. Um, so yeah, I, I should have looked for Twisted Fate. That card is so good in that matchup. But lesson learned, lesson learned. All right, so anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Twisted Sin cool deck here those y'all y'all on youtube of course like i said leave those comments and let me know if you got any other um you know suggestions for the deck be interested in here but um i wanted to say as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video